also CMIA for their sponsorship, their support, and really starting to put together a great professional development um, program so that we can come together as a community, we can build off uh, the successes we've had and continue to seek uh, the more successes. We need to, to, to move from a reactant, participant type approach to doing business to being anticipant. Um, but I think it also speaks to the fact that um, we are evolving um, in terms of technology uh, quite rapidly. CMIA welcomes you back to the final part of our discussions with Brigadier General Dominic Goulet and Chief Warrant Officer Sean Pendergrass. In this last part of the episode, we're going to talk about what he's currently reading, the General's favorite movie and why. I also asked him to tell us something about himself that uh, most of us don't know. I do apologize for some technical issues during this part of the program. I should really have been wearing my headphones. Great question, Dave. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I was going to I was going to try to make light of it and say basically all the emails, emails like any given day. Right. 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 <laughs> uh, but uh, I spoke earlier about the executive leadership program, which I attended uh, a week ago. And a book was given to us. Uh, it's called The Anticipant Organization. Um, and you may, most of you in this room will, will recognize some of the authors here. Um, David Fraser, so retired Major General David Fraser, um, as well as Mr. Tom Jenkins, who is uh, with Open Text, um, so who started Open Text, uh, one of the most uh, successful Canadian um, technological companies. And uh, Mr. Jenkins came and he spoke to us during the executive leadership program. And, and the reason why I, I'm starting to read this book is that what stuck with me is that he was preaching the, we need to, to, to move from a reactant participant type approach to doing business to being anticipant. And it's all about moving from analog to digital and basically moving enterprise towards um, being competitive in a digital age. Um, so I look forward to reading this because um, it's, there's kind of the, there's the entrepreneur business aspect to it, but there's also the soldier aspect to it. So I look forward to, um, to seeing how we can apply that, or at least, at least how I can apply that at my level and see where it can affect change. Um, but I think it also speaks to the fact that um, we are evolving um, in terms of technology uh, quite rapidly. And uh, I'm going to use this, uh, Dave, as a little segue to just make a, a point about digitalization. It's a talk of the town right now. Um, anywhere you go, you hear anything about you know, hear everything about digitalization, artificial intelligence, machine learning. And what I have found is that often we speak of it as though it's a standalone product in an office that you, you need to now you do your work and then you're going to sprinkle some digitalization on top of that work. Vice using digitalization as your foundation in terms of everything you do, how it enables us in terms of warfare, decision making to support that warfare. So it's, uh, you know, that was for me um, something really eye opening during the ELP. I look forward to the book. Um, so, yeah, that's the book I'm currently reading. Thank you. <laughs> that's, that's great. great. So, so the next, next question, question is, is uh, what's your favorite, favorite movie, movie and why? why? Okay. So I may, I may date myself here, but <laughs> believe it or not, my favorite movie is um, a horror comedy called Young Frankenstein. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Yeah. Okay. All right. The older crowd chuckle. That's great. <laughs> um, it's, uh, it's, for me, it's a classic Mel Brooks movie. Um, I think the actors are phenomenal. Uh, I think the comedy in there is, is fantastic. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of horror movies, believe it or not. I know people think I'm messed up, um, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, Young Frankenstein is, uh, if I had to pick one, I have multiples, but if I had to pick one, it is it is Young Frankenstein. Perfect. Perfect. So, so uh, last, last question, question. Well, last, last official, official question, question uh, is, is um, tell, us, tell something us something about yourself, yourself that, that uh, most, most of us don't, don't know. know. So you know this, Dave. I struggled with this question. I, yeah. I, I believe I'm I'm somewhat of an open book. Um, most people know, you know, the sports uh, teams I, I cheer for, the type of music I like. Um, so I, I struggled with this one. Um, but uh, and I'll give credit to my wife because she said, "Why why don't you say this?" And uh, <laughs> I said, "Okay, it's fair." And I think uh, you'll understand why in a minute. Um, so my wife and I are high school sweethearts, and uh, we have four children. 
uh, two boys, two girls, ages 25 to 20. Um, and I don't really have any spare time. My spare time or hobbies is basically my family. Um, so it's work, family, work, family. So I don't have any devious hobbies that I undertake in my garage or anything of that nature. <laughs> that is, uh, that's as good as an answer you'll get tonight. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, that's, 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 that's a great, great answer, answer, actually. actually. So, so I mean, now, now that you're a general, general officer, officer, you go home, home you work, work, family, family, work, work, family, work, family. Do you make, do you make them, them call, call you general, general at home? home? <laughs> um, so I, I've tried that a few times as a joke. Uh, it didn't go over well, and uh, I was reminded of the pecking order at home, and, uh, and and they remind me that they know the true Dom Goulet. So uh, don't push my luck. <laughs> oh, that's, well, that's great, great. Uh, uh, sir. Thank, thank you, you uh, Chief. Thank, thank you. you. That, that, that was great. great. Um, um,